Now, the Trump administration and Republicans at large are very uh, skeptical when it comes to climate change. Uh, in fact, Donald Trump uh, had previously said uh, during his uh, campaign, climate change is a Chinese hoax. So the Chinese come up with climate change in order to hurt uh, American businesses and make us non-competitive in the world. So it's, it's all China's fault. Okay, China, uh, they, they came up with climate change to hurt us. That contradicts with a new report released by the Trump administration um, that predicts some very, very dire consequences to the environment in the, by the year 2100. In fact, uh, this came out last month in a draft environmental impact statement. And it says that the planet will warm by 7 degrees Fahrenheit by the year 2100. So the Paris Climate Agreement, if you guys remember, uh, that was supposed to keep global temperatures under 2 degrees by 2100. Seven, seven. That's the number that we're heading for, uh, for. Now, among the consequences in this report, they said that coral reefs would dissolve due to the acidic uh, acidity in the ocean. Extreme heat waves would plague the globe. Coastal cities would be at risk of being underwater. Now, this is according to the Associate. Uh, I'm sorry, the Washington Post, uh, which reported on this prediction. Now, it was uh, contained in a 500-page draft environmental impact statement. So that's terrible, okay? Dissolving coral reefs, acidic oceans, uh, cities underwater, Florida's going to be underwater. Disaster. And look, along with that, of course, the flooding and the heat waves, you're going to have massive migration. So you think the immigration problem is bad now. You think the refugee problem is, is terrible just wait until climate change makes a lot of areas that are currently habited uninhabitable. Well, it's going to be an absolute disaster, right? So you would think that, okay, the, the Trump administration is now admitting they're putting out this report. That is a problem. Maybe we should do something to solve that problem. Well, here comes the twisty twist. The whole argument for this report is... I mean, it, your future is looking really, really bad. So that's why we shouldn't do anything about it. Wait, what? The draft statement, according to The Hill, was written to defend President Trump's decision to freeze federal fuel efficiency standards for light trucks and cars built after 2020. So here we've got this, these regulations, right? That basically, uh, you know, help fuel efficiency standards, help our cars use less gas and therefore put out less emissions that contribute to climate change. The Trump administration is, is saying, what, what difference is, gonna, is it going to make? No, let's get rid of these regulations because we're already screwed. It largely declared that the planet's ultimate fate has already been determined and that little can be done about it. That is an amazing twist. It went from climate change is a hoax created by the Chinese. It's actually not real. Uh, you know, Jim Inhofe goes and gets a fucking snowball from outside and says, uh, climate change. What? No, I got a snowball. Checkmate libtards. And now the administration is saying, oops, it's real. We're fucked. Let's go dig some coal. That's amazing. Wow. Now, according to Michael McCracken, who served as a senior scientist at the U.S. Global Change Research Program, told the Washington Post, quote, the amazing thing they're saying is human activities are going to lead to the rise of carbon dioxide that is disastrous for the environment and society. And then they're saying, we're just not going to do anything about it. Now, the statement analyzes that carbon emissions would have to be steeply cut in order to prevent the warming, adding that such an action would require substantial increases in technology, innovation, and adoption compared to today's levels and would require the economy and vehicle fleet to move away from the use of fossil fuels, which is not currently technologically feasible 
or economically feasible. Hey guys, so we set up a system where oil runs our entire society. We've known about this problem for decades. We should have been researching the problem, uh, or I should say solutions to the problem for decades. We didn't. We decided to pour more money uh, into oil subsidies and propping up coal industries, which is what the Trump administration is trying to do right now, and even being denied by some of their judges. And now they're saying, you know what? Uh, we should have done that, but we didn't. And we just don't want to do anything now. Let's just embrace the fucking apocalypse. Wow. That, that There are almost no words for how much of a disaster that is. And to say that it's currently technologically not, not feasible, nor is it economically feasible, is also bullshit, by the way. So... Right now, wind energy actually costs less than coal. And yet, we're propping up the coal industry. Um, not only that, but solar continues to get cheaper and cheaper. And the Trump administration, through its tariffs, has actually made it more expensive to get solar panels imported into the United States. Because yeah, we've got to stick it to China. We are shooting ourselves in the foot when we could actually do this. Electric vehicles. There are currently uh, states in, in, in that have banned companies like Tesla, for example, that sell electric cars from being able to sell them and have dealerships in their states. We're offering little to no advantages uh, or tax incentives for driving or creating more efficient electric vehicles that could cut down. And look, even though, and this is a fatalistic view of this report, they're saying, well, since we can't, you know, solve the seven degree warming and completely eliminate carbon, then we shouldn't do anything. That's a bullshit argument too. Just because we can't completely 100% solve the problem doesn't mean we shouldn't take measures to reduce the impact that we're going to have. There is a way that you can do this without completely wrecking the economy. We do have the technology. There is a way to not wreck the economy. We could do massive investments uh, into, you know, alternative energy and massive infrastructure projects into, for example, ocean wind farms and gigantic solar farms that could drastically cut our emissions of carbon in the atmosphere. Instead, we're doing the complete opposite. And the Trump administration is absolutely 100% fine with this because... As usual, they continue to put the, the needs and the desires of oil companies, coal companies, and executives over the environment and over the health uh, and well-being of human beings. Again, this isn't, this isn't just affect the environment. We live in the environment. It affects us too. You destroy the environment, you destroy humanity. But this is what we have from the Trump administration. This is a critical point in human history. Even they, even the, the, the Republicans in the Trump administration uh, are saying, look, man, we've got disaster coming. Iceberg dead ahead. But in the same uh, vein, they're also saying, let's just run full steam into that iceberg. What's the worst that could happen? We'll all be dead anyway. And a lot of you watching will also be dead by 2100. Uh, but all that stuff won't just happen when the, when the year turns from 2099 to 2100. It's all going to happen very slowly. But it's also happening right now. And it's going to get worse every year. Worse and worse and worse eventually till we get to that point. So maybe we should actually, instead of letting it get worse, fix the problem as we go. That was the whole point of the Paris Climate Agreement. That is the whole point of all of President Obama's measures to try to curb climate change. That was the whole point. 
But every step of the way, the Trump administration has undone everything. Because all they care about is short-term profit. That's it. That's what they've always cared about. That's why they continue to bury the science on climate change, even though they know that oblivion is staring us right in the face. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.